Yo, what's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back in here to the original plan of these reactions. We're back here with a triple threat reaction. And this one, I feel like it might get a little, just saying, little saucy. But we got Black Diamonds, we got Mayor Blackwell, and we got Contrast. So, yeah, it's like this, y'all. Nine times out of ten, you always see me react to the big artists and such that you see known about in Nerdcore. But, like I've been saying before, I'm going to start showing appreciation to like the lesser, like the underrated ones. Sorry, that was my phone. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to start showing my, react, my appreciation to the to the underrated ones because trust me these underrated ones be going more it's like trying to come for the throne and not saying they aren't but trust me the way how they've been going trust me they need their respects too so we better check this first one out and this is a full metal a full metal alchemist wrapped full metal jacket by black diamond so yeah like i said we better check this out Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Lot of y'all too judgmental. He said it's sport, but it's really a friend. Mm. Come by your side and ain't none of it gentle. Mm. I put my thoughts and fresh out the kennel. Trust me, I'm pick of the litter. They see me get some progress and they better. I know a couple who wanted a picture. I know another who cursed me. I know another who made me. Hold up. Yep, this one is already this is already off to a saucy start. Cause the thing with black diamonds is not only like this is the thing where he's like two in one. Not only he raps fire as hell, but the fact that he not only raps well, but does his own AMVs. Because I see on his Instagram where he did somebody's AMV who has like 12 subscribers or so, if I'm saying. And the fact that he did that for him, hey, that just shows you that with this Nerdcore, it's all about helping out one another. Like no matter if you're an upcoming artist, upcoming nerco artist, or underrated artist, or even a bigger artist, at the end of the day, in this nerdcore community, it's all about trying to be as one. So that's why I like it. But yeah, back to this though. We get way beyond this. I know a couple who run in the picture. I know another who cursed me. I know another who made me consider my brother the better. He really a hitter. Stay on this block with the heat in the center. They be like diamonds don't cut you to finger. Most of our best and intelligent thoughts were something the soul and some of y'all's bars. I heard all the claims and gave it a thought. I said I was shine until it's a hard. A lot of y'all play the false prophet. He wanna be God, but that's a facade. He really don't understand God's shit. Damn. He said he, he said he a God, but he, but that's a facade. <laughs> Let's face it. A lot of y'all niggas always wanna talk about. I am this. I am a God. Nah, nigga, no, you're not. <laughs> no, the fuck you not. And I'm gonna be straight up honest. Haven't watched this anime yet. Full Metal Alchemist. Haven't watched it yet. Y'all let me know if it's good or not. Don't spoil it for me, though. But y'all let me know if it's good. I heard all the claims and gave it a thought. I said I was shine until it's a hard. Lot of y'all play the false prophet. He wanna be God, but that's a facade. He really don't understand God's shit. My blood so burned, my heart's been gone. I really can't wrap my head around this shit. You see what I got going? That envy. You gon' find out that none of us friendly. Full metal jack in the case of a monkey was put up and test me. Transfer my thinking cause they moving messy. Can't on these demons you see overstep me. I keep a uh, keep me in body so I'm right under my red leather jacket. I swear these shadows be trying to possess me. Going this hard cause I got some regrets. They got me front seats for the match cause they would have win me. She ride the past her. Niggas swear they got so much shit to say to me. Diamonds the greatest, but don't shoot the messenger. She from my city, so I shoot the fast one. Shorty my man. I got a tap with a Gucci fur on her like Jolene. She wiped the Dottie and she for the team. I wipe her hottie, she give a bean. Y'all nothing like me to keep her sad. This beat is just boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this definitely complements Black Diamonds. It's like this with this Black. You should have had freaking Delta D's on this. 
You should have had a feature with Delta D's on this, cause trust me, with his typo, you and him is like the same type of wavy vibe and such, cause y'all could just flow on a beat don't like me. You are the body and she for the team. I watch for hot and she give a bean. Y'all nothing like me to keep me sad. I put this family shit on my uh, back. Uh, Jump in the front if they choose to attack. Nothing like finally touching the map. And look at y'all knowing no bridge in the gap. Walking this bitch and I'm clutching the map. She turn the ashes whenever he snaps. Damn. And one thing I like about whenever it comes to most nerdcore songs and such is that, like I said, I haven't watched this anime yet, but with the way how he's rapping and with the nice little things to put in to get a, to get a knowing of how certain characters are, that's fire. this was just a this was just a wavy track right here shout out to black diamonds you did your thing on this one bro Next one now, Mirror. And trust me, y'all been hearing me saying this every time on Anime Wednesdays. Or few of the or most half of the time you hear me saying it on Anime Wednesdays. With the way how Mir Blackwell's energy are, is like on certain songs, trust me. I had to start putting I need to start putting respect on the man's name. Cause the amount of time this man always Cause let's face it, in these in the sapphires he's always been, nine times out of ten he would have the he would have like the verse that everybody would well nine times out of ten he would have the verse people might remember back. Cause his just his type of energy and his type of bars is unmatched. But either way, we're here with a Dragon Ball Z rap AMV, the Gallic Gun. So let's get it. Give me a bit. And get these stacks and count them up in my new bitches that is fucking all my problems And I'm about to add in, I'm about to add in, I'm bad for more drip bag, I only got no Pockets full of simple beans, simple more than just a skin You force if you gon' sip for me, bullets on that Krillin' G And Rosie on that Mr. Clean, stop a couple digits and let me take that boy in the ring Sure I said I hang around with drugs Okay, now this is a dip Norm- Okay, you see, you see why I say that most of the times in nerdcore, no, not even most of the times in nerdcore, you get something different from a certain artist. Cause let's face it, in my, I'm gonna be straight up honest with y'all. In my head, I was like, when I'm coming into this song, just, well, just now, right? In my head, when I'm coming into the song, I'm hearing like the, like that type of energy and such, right? Like the way how he just goes into the bars like like grimy and such, right? But as soon as when I heard a beat like this and the way how he just sounded so far, nah, it just told my whole entire thing out the window cause it that's the thing cause that's the thing with this nerdcore. You may expect one thing, but nah. With them they always keep it fresh. So hey. Big props to you, boy. Cause, and I know you're going to see this because I'm going to tag you. You is one bad motherfucker when it comes to these songs. Even even though I see that this is a minute and 46, the way how you be spitting, bro, it feels like it's a 10 minutes. Talking about Boma. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. It's the
I'm his cause they were like pink stars. It's your bro, automatic, no any yard. I do face. Hold up, what? Two fingers? Get out the car. I don't t Instant transmission on the ass. You see what I mean by whenever it comes to his type of bars? This man said two fingers to the head. I don't take cars. Meaning that nigga. Because whenever they want to go somewhere, just just do that. I'm the car, we're like a race car. Two fingers to the head, I'll take cars. My man's cars are like race stars. It's the road, I don't make no AR. I do face no big bang here. Clear my briefly, big bang red. Who likes hell, I think they hit. What I mind, I think I hit. How he's going, I think they get. Not a god, this is the red. Lord, I fell off this thing again. Yo, Lord Necros, bro. Why you made you made dope? Shout out to you, Lord Necros, cause you made this mother sucker go hot. This beat is booming. Hold on, I want to see. Let me go in the little credits here. I want to see some. So it's produced by Lord Necros and Cole. Shout out to you, sorry. Mixed by Too Mean. And videos by Blacks. Hey, shout out to y'all for always keeping this shit entertaining for me. And I see that my boy. Hey, y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to him. Let's get that man to 10K. Get, get him to 10K, man, and keep on going. How you going? Hello. Stick it to Dragon Ball. Don't we don't we bring an avatar into this? I told him hang ten like a burning attack. Hang ten. Still was in perfect at rap. Mr. Do Rag. Hey, shout out to Mr. Young Do Rag himself, Mir. Keep on doing your thing, bro. Cause I, cause it's like you said before. You drop consistently. And hey, man, it's my fault. Like I said, my fault, bro. Sometimes I be getting a lot of nerdcore songs that I want to react to and such. But hey, my fault, bro. I'ma keep. I'ma make sure I always try to come back to you as much as I can, cause I know I'm subscribed to you, cause you have an energy that somehow it attaches to me. <laughs> I don't know how, but yeah. But yeah, bro. Shout out to you. You did your thing, bro. And shout out to Lord Necros and Cole for the production. Too mean on the mix. And blacks with the video, y'all did y'all think. But now we on to contrast. Ooh. Now here's a following the viewer. Ooh, this is a cause I did see in the freaking description saying this song is about a panic attack. So hey. Yeah, you see what it says? The following content may contain suicide or self-harm topics, so be warned. So let's get it. The panic is so frantic in my mind. Can I handle the stress on my head? 
I feel so mad, nigga, I can't handle I can't see the manager grip on my head I feel it raining down on my And one, this one, it's like this with contrast He's like a different type of nerdcore artist Like even though most of his song is not like based upon a certain anime and such in a way but if you like go on his channel though like this got 158k views and this was literally in two weeks ago right June 25th this came out but I'm just saying with his type of videos and his type of songs in a way it don't even have to be related to the anime that much it's just a fire ass song without with or without the anime and you can literally think of which anime it can like literally I'm come into, I'm into the body filled up with dread I know it's harmless but I cannot help it I'm helpless I feel I might as well just be dead oh please let me be calm this one time I don't wanna bleed my thoughts out again please Hello. <laughs> what? Hello. What? How low? Whoa. Huh. One thing I gotta say. Why? How the hell you gonna make this feel self like self conscious, like thinking and such, but be so wavy at the same time? Like you hear what the lyrics are saying about let's jump off a bridge, blow our brains out and such, but with the way how this beat and flow is going with it, why it feels so saucy? It just feels like that. Go. That's not our feelings, Phil. Well. Bye, go. Jamaica, money, then, man. Let's see if we're far in one of you. Bye, go. We're going in, Zidane. Me's going in. Then go. I don't want to hear your voice in here. Go. Me know this one time. Oh, my. All right, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go. Yeah, no. Go now. Go. 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 I got you in your country. Bye, go. When your daddy come in and you don't push him out. Cause he don't come in more often like you do. No, when he come in don't. You see who I'm talking about, y'all. Like, come the hell out. How you just gonna come creeping up on me and you see me reacting? Hey. I'm telling you one of these days that if anyhow when we get a new house, I'm locking the door for every time you should react. I don't care what anybody, I don't care what none of y'all say. Do you know how many times y'all seen my videos? This has happened way too many times now. And I even try to leave like a door note saying that I'm recording and she's still gonna come in here. So I don't care what anybody say. Y'all, I don't care what anybody say. When it, Whenever we move into another new house or a new apartment or whatever, I'm making sure that if I'm going to start recording, I'm locking my freaking door. And I'm putting up a goddamn note on that door saying, and I'm specifically saying it to my mom. I don't care. Yes, I'm going to still, either way it's going to still say, but I'm putting it in brackets saying, especially you, mom. Because, uh, but either way, back into this though. Yeah, this is going down a deep, 
this is for anybody who has like this type of thing a panic attack because he's literally t he's literally was explained this was that before my mom came in and interrupted me don't wanna be stuck in my head though that's just call it the end when I'm feeling that we should go on be pounding in my chest until that explodes the clock is ticking up till eternity turning this way my heartbeat just goes I don't wanna stay here no longer I feel like a stranger standing in my skin With that blood so feeling Piercing through my arm, my knees getting weak My hands is feeling thin too That's literally how when panic attack is feeling like It's kinda like a panic attack, heart attack But no, nah, mostly a panic attack is like how you just literally explain it Where you're kinda freaking out and such like you see like it's basically like how you just said it when you see blood coming or whatever you basically freak out freak out so That's all feeling I can get piercing through my arm my knees getting weak my hands is feeling thin too often i'm left too cautious feel my energy gone and i'm lost and anxious once again do it all at the cost of feeling like a thousand nights piercing every part my sanity and trust me most of the times a lot of people be doing that too when they overthink even me sometimes I overthink about a lot of stuff like at the end of the day try to attack it just all I gotta say, and look, this may be a different, different way, different meaning to this for me. So, I want nobody coming in here talking about, nigga, what are you talking about? Shut, like, to people who say that, shut the fuck up. Okay? It's my opinion. You got yours. Say what you wanted in the comments below. But this is just how I feel. If you got so many things that's clogged up in your head and such, like, so many thoughts and such just try to take it easy on yourself don't don't have a panic attack and such don't stress yourself out that much just take just take each problem one one at a time because and any thought you have and such go do something to like calm yourself down don't stress yourself out because at the end of the day we're all human we all go through stuff we just try to take it one e one step, one whatever. Jason basically just take it one step at a time. But I'm sorry, I just it's just a weird chorus to have in your head. Like literally this is what it's saying. This song is about having a panic attack. And also I seen the pink comment. This song is about a panic attack that he had a couple years ago. So see, even an artist like Contrast goes through it. A lot of people go through it. But we need to find ways. But mostly I would just say find ways how to calm it. Find ways how to deal with it not but uh, but I'm just saying for this song right the way how the chorus comes in it just feels so it's a good topic to talk about but what the hell the way how he's coming in with this delivery this saucy delivery I'm sorry <laughs> I just can't you cannot tell me otherwise this don't sound like it's a saucy way of saying this. There we go. 
there we go. Nice way how to end it off. Because I did not want that in my head. Hold on. Get the playthrough off time for this. But yeah. Now that's a good way how to end that off. Because I did not. Like, honest to God. It's a good message. It was like a crazy topic he's talking about. About suicide or stuff like that. But yeah, that was a that was a good way how to end it off with just saying let's not jump off the bridge. Let's talk the let's talk about the problems between you and I. Basically saying we don't have to. The only way you can solve is just by talking to one another, not trying to your head off or so. Basically, not trying to end your life. But yeah, besides from that, and judging by the way how I'm just saying, not a. The whole song itself from this last one by contrast, you cannot tell me it didn't feel like it was a little saucy or a little vibey, vibey some way, sorry, right? But either way, shout out to, shout out to Black Diamond, shout out to Mirror and shout out to Contrast, in a way, I gotta say, pretty much wavy on this, it was a pretty much wavy, like, and see, from contrast, I said he good now. He's he just wanted to write about his past experience. Good, cause trust me, cause I about I about to say, but yeah, there was a pretty much good vibes from all of these. Ain't gonna lie, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this triple threat reaction. And look, y'all, I don't care what anybody say whenever it comes to my mom. I'm making sure I further. Look, I don't care what anybody say. Like, whatever. But let me know what y'all thought about this reaction in the comments below. It's been your boy, Humble Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.